wear your masks take your vaccines stay home stay safe it's my absolute honor and privilege to have one of the greatest icons from chennai if not from india in the world of chess and someone who i have always admired as a youngster uh, welcome on the show with drs with ash uh, mr vishwanathan anand how are you doing fine thank you sir uh, i mean i am actually a little star struck to say ena enakku vandu the first thing i remember is uh, watching you on an niit ad okay uh-huh. and, a, and a classmate of mine talking so you know uh, proudly about a neighbor about someone who is in the chess fraternity and showcasing india on the global stage uh, on the day stand i have a question to ask uh, it was completely dominated the chess fraternity was dominated by two russians right gary kasparov and anatoly karpov so uh, on the time as an indian to get into the scene how did you feel yeah it was just a, a new journey uh, almost everything i did was either the first thing an asian had done or the first thing an indian had done so i became uh, india's first grandmaster asia's first world junior champion um on the one hand it was i had nobody to ask and uh, you know it was not a path well traveled inur vidama pressure illa where how far i got was great and uh, i got a lot of uh, extra um, uh, invitations and all because people were curious because there were so few asians at the top of world chess i would get invited to the best tournaments and so it's a mixed bag uh, in some things i wish i had more guidance uh, in other areas uh, i i got uh, m- many more breaks many more opportunities and um, i think it, it's exciting to be able to do uh, all the things your heroes have done uh, and i had no expectations you had no expectations so ninga sonna mari there was hardly any asians on the scene so for you to be able to go there and you know probably coming from india in the expectation me la so whatever you did was going to be you know pressure free mari irundalo what did you learn on the journey as you embarked you, you were pretty young you were 19 right when you embarked on this great journey and how did you feel about it adha vandu or a 19 i'm a youngster i'm here and people are talking about me but i have to showcase something to my country or show something to my family and the mari any pressures that you had to deal with irundirukala ulla irundirukala i didn't uh, act on it too much um, but poha poha i found out that ellarum ona paathunda enamo you will have that theri namlo konja extra talano nu but um, mostly i felt that everything everything was new when i remember the one of the happiest periods of my life was um, just after i had become world junior champion and i became a grandmaster in the same year then for the next 4 years uh, i would i got so many nice chances to play i got so many nice chances to travel and uh, it was just exciting i could compete uh, i knew what i had to do to get better uh, but at the same time i could do it at my own pace um the the russians were all already a little bit legendary okay uh, almost like um, some mythical object uh avalte end enna edirpaakranume theriyadu you feel at some level you think they're superhuman they know everything about chess and their training is the best in this and that on the other level Oh boy, you understand they're just uh, people like you and uh, so in those days I believed some very strange things. Now, when I was in Russia, I was talking to a taxi driver to talk to him about the chess. Maybe he also knows more than me. Um, <laughs> uh, but maybe, maybe uh, people uh, from, I don't know, the Netherlands when they come to India, maybe a Dutch cricket fan who comes to India has the same feeling, I don't know. But that's the kind of uh, uh, thing i had but um, i just remember it is a very enjoyable time uh, i did not feel a lot of pressure um, my parents were very supportive and uh, i have very pleasant memories not of a sense of uh, destiny yet i was just having a good time right uh, it's it's so it's so ena solradu it is it is very unusual and refreshing to see someone say uh, i just went through the journey i enjoyed it pressure illa and i'm very grateful abin solradu is a certain sense of humble humbleness in solalam but uh, from another perspective like you said uh, uh, going into russia i thought taxi driver might know more chess so that sort of a feeling when you are looking i can totally relate to that when somebody else will come and uh, do it uh, but and the mother you are feeling a lot of myth ipo vandha enak nalla nyabam irukku or comparison in 
sorry 1996 jayasurya came to india for the world cup and kept slamming everybody appa the whole myth was around jayasurya backless steel iruke jayasurya backless spring iruke some more myth likewise a lot of people say chess has a direct idu enak theriyadhu so i'm trying to clarify chess na chess valaadravanga super intelligent there is no chance that you can compete with the iq of people who play chess adile evlo how much amount of truth is there or how much amount of truth is there to saying illa it's just a sport somebody specializing it um so i'll i'll answer the first bit first uh, when um, when i started to do well uh, i started to hear the first explanations for my play oh he's indian so he's very really fatalistic he's he does uh, he believes in karma he, he's uh, he's in another plane and he, and the explanations all were around to there which i think is a real west east confrontation and um um for me the most important thing at that stage was how to get better right um chess players are um, fairly intelligent um i mean you can see the nare chess players they have chess over to do where they do panna ponalo they do it quite well and um, they you can see there's a tendency they'll go to university or they'll go to some finance or they'll go into research and so you can see the parallels between chess and the new uh, thing but um, uh, at the same time it's a specialized intelligence right uh, chess players are really good at chess so i'll be solve uh varathle if you play 2 hours chess as a child it will be good for you you will find that uh, school you are uh, able to learn things faster and so on wow but uh, if you spend 20 hours a week playing chess you'll be a better chess player that's all <laughs> okay thanks like, so sorry obviously, you know yeah you can the thing is if you want to be a better mathematician you should do maths if you want to be right. better at something else you should do that and there is no getting away from that but uh, chess will train some things memory uh, memory can improve ala um instead of anju nimishathukku badala 20 nimisham concentrate panna mudiyum indha maari you get uh, some skills which translate illa idu eppadi irukena enak nalla nalla theriyum ipo veetla takku enna solvanga ipo covid covid situations so amma kaalam kadathala irundha enna panuvaanga na manjal saapidu you know jeeram saapidu andha maari solradhu aduve food aaga mudiyadhu so 2 hours chess valaadenga it will help you in the overall uh, intelligence spacing nu solreenga it's understandable but uh tell me something more sir like when you started playing in in the early, in the 70s or probably a little early 80s la uh when you were playing then how how was chess then and how is it changed now appa do or career option or has it changed and evolved to becoming more of a career option now um in the 70s and 80s probably like many sports but chess was just starting to become like a career the main reason the biggest reason was bobby fischer Mm. so i mean he was the first person who uh, i mean it 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 was already a career for people who lived in the soviet union or the east bloc but that concept didn't exist anywhere else so uh, but after bobby fischer those doors started open for everybody else and that's why inniko you'll see many old timers are very grateful to fischer because they say because of fischer fischer nalada da enak ipo chess adinde live for a more year minute um in india both things were true um one is that um uh, in the 70s 80s and the phase you know namalku varla so there's no it was not a good career then or very limited what uh, then you could join a psu and uh, maybe find a niche like that or a public sector bank um, <laughs> and so that, that you got some support in that sense you you had a stable job and you could you could play chess uh but it was quite limited and um, the second thing is of course uh computerization uh, telecommunications all that also changed chess um and india has actually benefited from both so uh, starting in the 1980s chess became more and more of a career option mm. uh, more possibilities opened up more people started to play with attendant effects and on top of that now uh, you have opportunities all across the globe um you can emigrate but even without that you can coach uh, someone from your own living room you can uh, produce all sorts of material do commentary so other avenues have opened in india probably 
both trends are equally important right so ipo uh, vandu it is potentially a uh, greater career nu sollama or is it a better career nu sollama neenga solradha vechi paatha but back in the time in 70s and 80s there is a, there is a lot of articles and uh, mentions which talk about your mother being very influential on you for being a chess player today um and the time left without having a massive you know uh, career opportunity in front of you just in this line how did that happen how did your parents say it's okay just go after it if it's your passion if you're good at it go after it even if it is not a very you know a career setting up sort of a sport adu eppadi how did it happen in your family um appadi na solalla but edirkum onnume solalla or maadhiri i think appa amma ku indha chess enna enga po enga poi serum and the kavala endirkala but they never onnume solla varala valukku because ena edha solittu adunala ennala enakku aada mudiyala na so they held back but um, never did i have the feeling that uh, they were uncomfortable or apprehensive they were proud right. and they really liked my playing chess and putta evlo dhoram po po parano potton and in that sense i benefited a lot from that um, equally i often say that um, i was lucky with my timing right so typically epo and the doubt varum 10th standard kitta 12th standard apra college la enna padikano in a career path so these are the critical moments and before so 10th i became national junior champion 12th standard i became a grand master and uh, by the time i finished my bcom degree i was top 10 in the world so or madri at each of these stages enakku the nambika irundathu adutha panna kuda avlo risk kedaiyadhu which made it easier enakku each of these successes if it had been one year before or later i might have hesitated more okay um so in that sense the wind was favorable right so and, uh, I'll, think- I'll, i'll tell one nice story which uh, which i think will explain attitudes in those days so i was once in a going in a train actually to a felicitation function in kerala and um, a nice old man next to me konja pesindho he said nee ena pandra so na sonna chess aadra then he said ah okay ana ena pandra கொஞ்சம் <laughs> 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 if you risk if you risk it take that something like that was the trend and i i think he he generally he could see he was not against sport but he felt he had to share that it could be risky in the long term you know pass on that experience and uh, i like that story very much because it kind of captured attitudes also those days illa ninga therumbi sonningala illa vishwanath anna naan thana sonni illa illa solla oh my god in solla manasu varla so <laughs> சார் எவ்வளவுதான் ஹம்பிளா இருந்தாலும் ஒரு தடவை அடிக்க சார் நான் தான் சார் விஷ்ணா தான் அடின் கொஞ்சம் ஹம்பிளாவது சொல்லிருக்கலாம் நீங்க அவர்கிட்ட அட்லீஸ்ட் யூ மைட் டேக் அன் ஆட்டோகிராஃப் அட் டூ ரைட் ஐ மீன் ஏன்னா சி ஒன் திங் தட் இஸ் அமேசிங் அபவுட் திஸ் ஸ்டோரி இஸ் இட்ஸ் கேப்சரிங் த மைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியன் பீப்புள் ரைட் இன் திஸ் கண்ட்ரி வி டாக் சோ மச் அபவுட் இன் திஸ் ஜெனரேஷன் ஆஃப் மேக்கிங் இட் அ ஸ்போர்ட்டிங் கண்ட்ரி பட் ஸ்டில் அந்த அந்த ஒரு பேலன்ஸ் இருக்குல்ல நம்மளோட டிஎன்ஏல ஆஃப் சேங் ஸ்போர்ட் சோறு போடாதுப்பா வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் அதர் சோர்சஸ் நார்மலா ஒரு படிக்கணும் ஒரு இன்ஜினியர் ஆனோ டாக்டர் ஆனோ அதுலயே இருக்கே do you think uh, the trend will change even people who are you know uh, we talk about uh, i hear a lot about this elo ratings right elo ratings how much ever you say adile vand is there any direct relation to the human intelligence uh, part with it or how does it work how does the ratings work um elo ratings is just our ranking system so nothing more and um, there's probably uh, i think there's already a correlation between people who play chess and like i said they tend to do well at some things equally they do things bad badly at other things um so for instance i can say that chess players are tra- are able to handle a lot of data because we do this uh, in chess and we are able to recall ex- examples from long back and uh, so there are certain skills that we have equally um amulku madama people skills irukka poradhu nu edirpaakradhu it's not <laughs> reasonable uh, we tend to be i mean we can be fun with each other but you know chess players are special so 
um, there's a bit of uh, mix and match there. But in India, you know, doctor, lawyer, engineer, they were CA, like there were some options for uh, that traditional, you know, middle class parents expect in career paths. Um, in the 80s, uh, saying that you are a chess player uh, would have brought many doubts, uh, many questions. Oh, can you earn a living in this? But equally, 80s less sound engineer up or so now would have three parts. So there are so many interesting uh, career paths open that uh, the whole palette has opened up, I would say. Right. So, Ipo, uh, tell me, uh, I asked about your uh, ELO ratings of, because of a precise reason. At the dawn of 21st century, before that, I think only Bobby Fisher was the one name that was there in the top 20. Okay. But now at the dawn of the 21st century, you've got 19 players uh, in the top 20. I mean, is there a reason behind it? Specific reason? Um, so, yeah. If, uh, if you take someone like uh, Fisher, he... Um, attained a performance gap over his nearest rivals that um, is, is still not very common. I mean, there are, uh, so I don't remember the exact numbers, but Fisher might have been, let's say, 100 point, points ahead of his uh, contemporaries. And um, nowadays, you know, Carlson, Kasparov all have done it at least in stretches. So, um, it's not that it hasn't been done again, but there are not that many examples of that distance. Um, ELO ratings themselves, they are valid, but because there are two forces. One is the number of people playing chess is growing higher, which means just like money being printed, there is inflation. Right. The second force is that number of people playing better chess than the previous generation is also getting higher. Okay. So it's not all inflation. There is some quality and some inflation and you know how you separate the numbers. So um, all the numbers today are always going to be higher than the numbers yesterday, unless you correct for inflation. Okay. But it's very hard to correct for inflation because you're then imposing all sorts of concepts on uh, games that happened a couple of decades ago, which is strange. So, um, but Fisher's dominance was such that his rating still survives among the best lists today. Uh, it will inevitably uh, keep falling back. Um, I think already there are... Um, and seven, eight people who have uh, broken his numbers, best numbers. Okay. But he's still around, which is right. remarkable so many years afterwards. It shows the relevance, you know, I, uh, I mean, uh, the one thing that I can directly correlate with the uh, United in the 70s and the 80s, right? Among Afula and the four fastballers who put on the Baimut, when you talk, to, talk about any of those uh, people from that era, Marga Marshall Roberts, Joel Gandon, and the pair of Salwang. And the Bobby Fisher stuck at it for about 40 years. So, st him staying relevant is no surprise at all. Uh, Anna, sir, uh, I, I have a lot of mental aspect questions that I have to ask. But that's the first time you were about. Cricket is a hallmark event in India, like India versus Pakistan. And the mother, now, path to follow up on our event on the Magnus Carlson versus Vishwanathan. Okay. Uh, it seems to me like it was India-Pakistan because it's also probably recently done and also better marketed than something in the past. But how did you see that bout? Or how did you see that contest? Um, I honestly, my Norwegians are generally under the, they have the image of being Scandinavian, which means they're slightly boring and um, they're not a military threat. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think uh, that Pakistan element comes across. I mean, that rivalry is Many notches higher. But Carlson was is simply an exciting player. He's, uh, people are excited about his chess. Uh, he does many things that uh, other people are unable to do. And uh, so, you know, it's just the admiration for a good player. But um, I don't think we were able to build, bring this geopolitical intrigue into this thing. And frankly, that has gone. Uh, the last time, uh, chess used to benefit from it. We had the Fischer-Spassky match, which was the geopolitical gala, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And then even Kapo against Kochnoi, because one was a defector from the Soviet Union, one was a Russian uh, uh, Soviet uh, champion, um, and all the intrigue and KGB and all the stuff got uh, circled in. Kapo versus Kasparov, again, the rebellious versus the uh, 
committed communist all that all those angles have been used as much as possible um but after 1990 chess had to find a new expression i mean this old uh, the rest versus the russians this angle conjured disappeared i mean once the uh, the soviet union ceased to exist uh, and that element of geopolitics disappeared that angle disappeared you know maybe one day uh, playing pakistan will be play, like playing new zealand i don't know but right now uh, that tension is there which always carries back and forth um, equally um, in other countries there are other rivalries in other sports um, and any two border but with no way I, i didn't see that at all um, i think yana kenna pudichadena finally i was playing a world championship match in chennai and right. i thought karasila everybody would actually be able to physically see what it is i do because so many of my matches were abroad that inga uh, they'll be able to see it directly right when it when it came to packaging and marketing that game the hype that revolved around that game and even the government of tamil nadu fd how they really built it up was so amazing and that literally i remember people watching you know and following it on tv hey, it be id chipa id id chipa and the whole thing was magnus carlson la they ebdi na i don't know if it was true or not avar vandu he used to get into the gym and then come and play the game and the madri or sort of a, you know made it look really cool the life span of a chess player right uh, because uh, because of the not sheer physical i'm sh- I, i don't get me wrong here mental burnout is a serious issue but uh, because of the not so much sheer physicality of the sport is it is it that the life span is a lot more and and the life span lot more are irukiradanal you are having to meet people from different generations as well for example carlson is completely i am not sure about the age difference exactly he might be at, at least one and a half decades behind you if that is uh, yeah he is uh, 20 years younger 20 yeah. and a bit so yeah he is about two decades younger so on the 21 years yeah app irukumbod does it really impact the game per se or it's not much of a difference um in chess even historically there was a kind of balancing force so one was uh, experience which the older you got the more experience you had the more situations you faced um, and the other which was your ability to calculate which younger players were good at and these calculating skills deteriorated for most of the time that i remember these forces were roughly in balance okay which means that um, uh, as players got older they would uh, try to you bring their experience to bear and try to bring unfamiliar situations to younger players but as younger players you could drop them in any situation and they would just calculate better and how uh, these two strategies clashed computers changed that because it shortened the time you needed to get experience okay and um, also um, if you speed up the time control so then in effect the same thing that happened with cricket um, with uh, one day and t20 and happened in chess also and even the ratios hold seven seven hours to five days um one hour to one day and then five minutes is maybe the t20 um but as the rapid versions of the game became more and more popular the balance started to shift towards youngsters but uh, the amount of data we do around i mean once upon a time i would uh, remember a thousand games or something now my database itself has like 14 15 million games which means that i cannot expect to remember everything i have to when i do my work i have to really think tabithiri in the position vandudana enak enna nyavam vechukano andha madri and you literally have to be very selective and intelligent about how uh, you visualize what the board is going to look like anyway long story short uh, if you want to start career spans are shortening because all this work is very energy intensive so the physicality if you like is coming into the sport in the 70s chess players thought nothing of going out for a drink every night um now fitness 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 because uh, the level of uh, physical tension is much higher the f- physical level is higher and therefore career spans are shortening this is unquestionable ipo ninga sonninga you made a very very good point of 5 minutes one day into a seven day test match one day and a t20 analogy you, you put it out crystal clear in fact i would have enjoyed it if you had dwell deeper on how the game would be visualized so leaving it you just moved on but it's okay uh, my uh, my question for you is ipo in the format la marina kuda someone of your stature and your experience you master the t20 format of chess la 
uh, yeah. the rapid the rapid play time which is a 5 minute or whatever however you call it however you call it the connotation to t20 cricket how did that happen ideally the youngsters must hold the as right how did that happen yes um so first of all uh, when i was young i used to, i grew up playing 5 minute games okay and this was what i used to do in the chess club which is play i don't know 50 70 5 minute games every day and then come back home okay mondays thursdays sundays you know regular up i didn't that and um, each thing is different so uh, the seven hour game you're allowed to think a lot um, if something you forget you're able to sit and think oh enak nyamo illa but karsi le da paathumode edho enna enna thonithu enakku aha so enna kandupidichunda i would have thought that and you can you have the time to work through some problems right um and this is what i meant when i said the older players have experience and the younger players have uh, calculating ability the younger players will not think so much but they'll just calculate it out again the older players using all sorts of reference points um faster time controls favor the youngster because there is not much time to do all these things so you have to gamble and constantly gamble right i don't mean main backing making bad moves all the time but uh, definitely the quality of the game uh, suffers from the purest viewpoint is a, there's a lot more gambling bluffing all that stuff happening and uh, rapid to blitz is the next uh, level because you're going from half an hour games to uh, five minute games and uh, then it's pure calculation pure instinct um, and how you go back and forth amongst these things is very it's very difficult to switch from one format to the next right so if you play um, if you're used to a slow thinking process it's very difficult to switch your thing to just playing fast and very often you'll see people completely collapse if they made to do this too rapidly um i was the world's best rapid player till i was about 39 40 till this period i my results were just uh, with some difference amongst the best but after that invariably first of all two things happened i think i was older which means you get slower in thinking and so on and i was also spending all my time in the classical format okay which means uh, there's some training uh, deficiency in the other areas but more importantly a whole new generation had grown up which was doing exactly the same thing for them rapid chess was not some exotic thing to try it was just a, a, a format very much uh, i'm sure there's a generation in cricket that still looks down on one day and say i sorry spectators pangra ticket but you know it's not the real thing and equally there's a generation now which just doesn't understand even that there was once a question madri so the generation after that is uh, quite hard to compete and uh, i have had one or two glorious moments uh, like the world rapid championship in 2017 which i won um, i mean when i won that nobody r- could expect it and least of all i didn't expect it uh, but um, mostly in the last decade my rapid performances haven't been what they were um, and one thing is Uh, focus and the other thing is age i think these two effects combined right i i'll be doing uh, deep injustice to this conversation if i didn't address this uh, this you spoke about uh, people who are younger who can calculate and compute better and the people who are experienced can draw back from their experience and they are very good at it difference in formats engalukum cricket la irukku sir ipl la nadakku 3 manikku thoongite avanga madhyanam 1 manikku dhaan elundupanga andha mari players la when they come to play test match cricket they say eppadi dhaan neenga elundukireengalo kaalam karatha appo so it's the same thing i can totally empathize with it but uh, in the mental scar right uh, which is something that uh, everybody goes through even at cricket we go through after a certain point of time as you get experienced yes ungalku theriyum enna nadandirukku appadina but you are hit by scars illa so many uh, you know defeats or so many bad moments that you are learning from which the youngsters will not have how do you manage to bridge that gap when you are playing a game it is very difficult um, one of the things in chess is some early experiences you'll be avoiding all your life because they were that painful right and um, we have the same situation in chess that you mentioned uh, i i wake up at 8:30 9 every day and uh, i get a breakfast and then i'll go for a walk and then i'll come and work a bit and then uh, i'll have lunch another short walk i'll have a nap and i'll be ready for my game and there's a generation of players who uh, wake up at 1 in the afternoon have lunch and come straight to the game but and in some ways their thing is even good because kalambra they've not had any time to worry and think about what will happen and you know none of that uh, tension they come to the game straight away they're a bit zonked because they're still waking up and still having that coffee but uh, um, 
sometimes it's good to be free like that. In the same way that sometimes it's good to be free of these bad memories. Because my problem, and I think the problem of many people is you overcorrect. If some bad experience happens in one area, you'll overcorrect and avoid that area, even if you avoid a much bigger area than where that problem happened. Because of the emotional problem, as you say, scarred. Um, but that is one of the things that you try to bring. If, some, if you have a really painful experience and you think, um, did it happen to me because I was young and inexperienced? And if so, maybe I can pass it on to this guy. And so you'll overcome your fear and say, well, let me try to go into that kind of thing against these younger players. But uh, in general, experience means being able to see someone and then uh, use some analogy to think this is like that or he is like that player and then what worked against him, let's see if it worked against him. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Perfect. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I will, I, I will, I will, uh, I will, before I get into a very small entertainment segment or a very light segment, one final question. The modern Modern day, there's a lot of people, even in these COVID times, a lot of classes are happening for players, yeah, young ones who are playing chess. Uh, it is very possible to get to everybody's houses. In the matter of what would you suggest to parents and kids who are taking up chess as a career and are totally enamored by it? What would be your piece of advice? How do they go about it? How should they? My advice would be play, train, learn, all that is fine. Um, obviously, it depends how old. Uh, they are if they're already 17, 18, and you know, then you cannot put it off any longer. But if you're 12 and 13, don't worry about uh, whether they should turn professional or not. My feeling is that you will not know till much later. Uh, you should have traveled once or twice, you should have played here and there, and you should see whether it's not only whether you can make a living from the sport, it's also a question do you like the lifestyle of the sport? Do you like what it entails? Um, because they're, all, they're always good and bad things, but uh, do you like? Uh, the world you live in and uh, it's very hard to guarantee uh, that your performance uh, will last for very long and there'll be lots of uh, ups and downs and you have to take those factors and decisions so I feel you can push that thing later but right now it's excellent if you have free time then uh, one of the best ways to spend it is to study chess uh, you get a lot of time to study it's uh, very engrossing and uh, you know instead of simply wasting time this is definitely a very good way to spend it. Um, and the other thing is, there is no way to get better. You, it'll happen or it won't happen, but you, it's not easy to control that we become better because if we could, then somebody else can as well. And then if everybody were doing this, then where's the uncertainty? So uh, keep practicing, keep playing. One day you may suddenly get better if you have done things right, but it's very difficult to force that. So, you know, if right. it, the answer to it's not working, therefore I must coach more, I must get more coaching is clear. I feel that if you enjoy what you do, you maximize your chances of getting better. You know, you said it correct. Yes, you said it. COVID time, we will have a better chance to get better online chess tutorials. We will have a constant checkmate. So, there is no change in that one. I totally get what you say. Maybe next year you will suddenly play better, but what can you say? No, you can't say what change. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, but getting on to a slightly lighter segment, I saw you talk about money haste recently. Uh, money haste, you can enjoy a tweet. Uh -huh. And uh, money haste, I think Hell Professor is my favorite character. I think that's what I'm doing. Correct. Um, yes, partly. What I like also is I'm, I'm watching it in Spanish. Okay. And uh, keeping the English subtitles just to compare. and Because they use a lot of lingo and slang and so on. And, uh, and it's nice. And also, when I hear uh, about Madrid, then you remember some things, you know, the Central Bank and the Mint and whatever. But um, uh, actually, I'm not sure I like Professor. I like this. Um, uh, the women are okay uh, in a Berlin and Nairobi. Le. And then, Berlin, uh, Berlin and Nairobi, and uh, I think it's, uh, if I'm not wrong, what's the other character? That hot headed character, I forgot the name. Nairobi. Yeah. And and no, uh, sorry. Tokyo. And, okay. Tokyo. Ah, uh, Tokyo. Sorry, not Berlin. Tokyo. And then, uh, but actually, I like this character, Moscow. Uh, Moscow. Uh, no, that old man, the one who's worldly wise, and his son is also in the. Correct. Uh, Moscow's son is right now there. Moscow is not there in the current season. Moscow uh, went in the first season. Yeah, season. so I liked Moscow a lot because <laughs> he was the most hesitant of the thing. But 
yeah it's entertaining illa uh, neenga yeah. see you look you look the part el professor ah neenga irukka mudiyum easy ah irukka mudiyum it is not only physical appearance i'm talking about even the you know mental acumen required uh, but if you were to do it would you rob a bank i in chess i've already gotten used to the idea that uh, no game ends as i've planned it so uh, i would i would hesitate before robbing a bank um and i think it's much harder to get away with that kind of money i think if you rob 30 40 million nobody really cares but if you are robbing one or two billion from the mint then i don't see i, I don't see how they going to sell uh, buy some island and you know as if the spanish government will never find out see like adhe or madri kavala irukke sari print adikira seri ana eppadi selavu panna pora yaar yaarume yaarume kakka maatala enna இவ்ளோ 50 யூரோ நோட்ஸ் இருக்கு எங்க இருந்து வந்ததுன்னு யாருமே உன கேட்க போறது இல்ல எப்படி எப்படி முடிவு இந்த முடிவு என்னன்னு எனக்கு என்ன புடிச்சது தெரியுமா சார் நான் உங்களுக்கு கேட்டேன் இந்த மாதிரி நீங்க பண்ணுவீங்களா திருடு அப்படினா எஸ் ஆர் நோ சொல்லிரலாம் ஆனா நீங்க செஸ்ல ஏ நல்ல பிளேயர்ங்கிறதுக்கு ஈவன் மோர் எக்ஸ்பிளனேஷன் சரிடா அப்படியே நான் திருடுனா கூட அந்த பைசா வெச்சு நான் என்ன பண்ணுவேன் எப்படி தப்பிப்பேன்னு யோசிக்கிறீங்க பாருங்க எக்ஸாக்ட்லி தட் ஃபோர் சைட் இஸ் வாட் செஸ் இஸ் இஸ்ட் இட் எஸ் லிட்டில் பட் ஐ மீன் யூ யூ ஆல்சோ ஹேவ் டு திங்க் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஆஃப் suppose i'm successful and i get out and then we have all these suitcases <laughs> how am i going to buy a newspaper how am i going to buy a coffee with this you have to think that appo ungalku pudicha tamil padam gentleman nu nanikalama do you watch a lot of tamil movies at all not that much anymore munna nariya paathne ipo enak generally movies e i still watch once in a while but uh, i'm always watching a bit late and i prefer uh, serials and you know short uh, short bursts okay any any favorite actors that from your uh, from whenever you watched of course when i was young uh, rajinikanth kamla uh, and the greats i grew up with the greats but uh, but not really rajinikanth shivaji Kamala. you know shivaji even uh, so i i grew up uh, with a lot of uh, old movies but uh, i don't i don't watch that much now right up or uh, quick uh, question sir kandan karunai uh, ka, uh, nayagan and the basha i'll probably take nayagam nayagam right super i thought so thank you so much for doing it and one uh, couple of final questions before i go off uh, you 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 been into sport right nareya valadirkinga tt valadirkinga badminton valadirkinga even cricket road side la veetla kitta valadirkinga nu solirkinga so uh, any any favorite cricketers from your from that you watched um, well i grew up at a time with uh, kapil dev and gavaskar and uh, and um, besides that i follow tennis i mentioned my book as well tennis, uh, yeah. that i have this uh, i still remember mckendro very fondly okay mainly mainly for the antics but anyway you <laughs> very fondly <laughs> it is very surprising nobody would associate you to antics but you 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 giving it right and you know in the book also you had mentioned about talking right enakku vandu i would want to let my cool off but i really envy people who let their steam off abdin solli potundinga how how I, I, actually in the book that's what i conclude that uh, somewhere deep down i wish uh, that i'd broken the rackets instead of always holding it inside and um, that's why i still uh, admire and i mentioned also that i admired uh, uh, i admire people in the moments when they lose their cool because at least they're letting it out ulla vechinde vechinde romba kashtapatten oru naal neenga chess coin onna keela potu da and photo eduthu twitter la potna sir கோபமாதன் <laughs> <laughs> he is a son of vishnuvadan anand that's an expectation that he is going to grow up with he is not going anywhere with it and what do you tell him how do you ease the pressure off or how do you put the pressure on how do you do it uh, no pressure on him uh, in fact um, <clears throat> when i play to him i have to i try to give him opportunities to win and uh, you know to encourage him uh, but mostly we have we just have a good time and uh, i don't bring that and like i wanted him to learn chess because i think it is uh, good it will train him in certain ways but also because i want him say appa enna pandran nu konjam therinjikittom but beyond that uh, he can go anywhere he wants uh, if if he chooses chess that's fine by me but i'm not going to suggest it anymore right that's an amazing way of ending this sir thank you so much 
பாத்தாச்சு விஸ்வநாதன் ஆனந்த் யாரு என்ன ஏதுன்னு லைட்டர் சைடையும் கொண்டு வந்துட்டீங்க ஹோப்ஃபுல்லி யூ ஆர் நாட் கோன் ஹேவ் டு ஸ்டீல் எனி பேங்க்ஸ் பட் வி வில் சி யூ ஸ்டீலிங் அ லாட் ஆஃப் யூ நோ ட்ராஃபிஸ் ஃபார் த கண்ட்ரி அண்ட் ஃபார் யுவர் செல்ஃப் ஐ பீன் அ மேசிவ் ஃபேன் थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दिस फॉर मी आई होप अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल मेक डिसीजंस बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट यू सेड टुडे थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच अश्विन एंजॉय इट